Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Tonight's pour is going to be a commission piece that uh, somebody I met at a show up in Fairmount, Indiana, and it was a good show. And I met a lot of nice people up there. A lot of people uh, appreciated my work. Um, I think I was called a genius at that show, uh, which I'll always take that compliment. So, um, but I met, I remember meeting this one guy. I mean, I met a lot of people. I talked to a lot of people. I probably remember the conversation more uh, than just meeting this person. But uh, he he wanted a commission piece of a Jeff Gordon car. And from what I remember, and it's a little, little fuzzy, like I said, I, I talked to a lot of people. But I do remember that he, I believe he wanted it for somebody else. But I, I can't remember if it was for a friend or for... You know, like a, his brother or, or a relative of some some sort, and uh, I just I'm, I, I apologize. I just can't remember exactly, but I do remember the conversation of the Jeff Gordon car wanting that, and he was gonna he took my card and he was gonna reach out to me. Um, normally, like I've said before, I have a lot of people ask for commission pieces, and I never hear from them again. They take my card, nothing, just nothing. I have here recently gotten a few more. I did I did the show in uh, in uh, Greenfield at the fairgrounds, and the uh, met a gal there. Wanted a commission piece. She's already reached out to me. She ordered the car herself that she wanted because I didn't have that car, and I picked that up. I did the piece for her. Got it back to her, and uh, the video's not up on YouTube yet. I mean, it's on there, but it's under private because she doesn't want it. She hasn't given it to her boyfriend yet. Uh, it's a birthday present, so that's coming up here uh, probably in about a week. And uh, so I'll be able to, you know, get that in public so you guys can see that. And uh, I'm really just waiting for them so they can at least see it. So that video will be up here probably about the time this one's up or maybe a little after. So, but, so this, this was a show that was done... Uh, later than the Greenfield show and so I I had a number of people ask me for uh, commission pieces and this guy reached out to me and I I figured he was going to uh, reach out to me because he also liked my page my Facebook page of holiday paintings when they do that I usually have an idea that they're gonna probably get in touch with me and have me do commission pieces so and he did he reached out we collaborated on colors because the Jeff Gordon car has the rainbow type colors so it's got a lot of different colors in it and uh, I believe he wanted um, he wanted to go with a blue background because we were talking about backgrounds I thought white might be better he said blue after thinking about it blue I do believe would be a better choice so I'm gonna do blue background and of course here's the car I found it at my local flea market I knew they had it there because after that show, the first time I was in the flea market, I saw the Jeff Gordon car. I did not buy it because, um, again, I never know if I'm going to hear from these people again. I did hear from him. I believe his name was Thomas. I think it was Thomas. I don't know if he goes by Tom or not, uh, but it, I think his I think his name on uh, Facebook was Thomas. And so. Um, so he did reach out to me. I got the, I went and picked up the car this week. And so now I'm ready to, um, paint. All I have to do is stir the paints, mix them and uh, get them. And we're going to use a blue on the background. This is kind of a darker blue than a lighter blue. So I'm probably going to go with, uh, maybe an ultramarine, which I got paints right here. So I'll probably go with an ultramarine and then I'm going to go with the, a lemon yellow and then just the regular orange. Oh, these are all master's touch. I will use some little bit of white. So I'm going to use some artist loft white and then I got to pick a green, which I'm thinking uh, maybe fluorescent green, which I have right here. That's also a master's touch of fluorescent green. So I believe these are the colors that I'm going to use tonight. 
So all I have to do is mix them and we can get started on this and see how this turns out. What we're, what we talked about and <clears throat> cause I, I try to get their, what exactly they're wanting. All right. Because, um, there's only one time that I've done a commission piece where they just gave me the colors. And, um, I actually met, uh, I had a show yesterday in Anderson, Indiana. Uh, and it was just down the road from our, the flea market I always go to. And, um, that's the town I go shopping in all the time. I've been by this, it was at a Methodist church. I've been by it many times. And, uh, <clears throat> so they had a, a neat fundraising event. And so they had a car show there. I thought, oh, this is going to be awesome. People are going to love my stuff. They're going to buy, I'm gonna, hopefully I'll sell out. And, uh, they had a cornhole tournament and so they, had a, so they had some activities going on. They had a DJ there. Um, so it was, it was a really good event. The weather was, um, fairly good. It was cloudy all day, which was great for, uh, you know, July. It was not hot. I think it's supposed to get up to like 80, but it never, I never really got hot and it just sprinkled on us a little bit at the very beginning. I was, I think I was still setting up. I had my canopy up. It was an outdoor event. I had my canopy up and I was still setting up the stuff inside. And um, that's the only time it rained on us. But um, one of the vendors there, um, I she has put on her own events and I've done a lot of events for her. And one of her, uh, one of her best friends, uh, her name is Paula. She has bought something for me at every event that I've done with this, uh, with this, uh, Harriet is her name. And, uh, so Paula was the first one that asked me to do a commission piece for her. And so she just gave me the size she wanted and colors. Didn't give me, didn't care, just said to do whatever. And so, um, I'll have to, I'll have to see if I can get a picture of this posted in this video because she sent me, once I got it to her, um, she sent me a picture of it hanging up and it was like, it was like I was, it was like at the end of a hallway and it was like I had a, either had a picture of her hallway or been in her house, which I hadn't. And she, I knew exactly how to paint this, the colors, and it matched perfectly. And she even said she didn't even put a nail on the wall. The nail was already in the wall and she hung it and it fits in perfectly. You'll have to see, I'll post the picture right here. Yeah. See that? Yeah. Perfect commission piece. So that was the only one that really, um, I didn't, I didn't go in with what kind of, uh, you know, I always get the colors they want and the style they want and everything. So I talked to, the, sent some messages back and forth with, uh, Thomas, Tom, I don't know if he goes by Tom or not. I'm going to call him Thomas. So Thomas and I sent messages back and forth and he really wants it to pop and so do I, I want it to pop for him too. And so we, we, he suggested the blue background, which I think is great. So we're going to do that blue background. So <clears throat> we also decided on the orange and yellow going flames out and then some green, some touches of greens in there. So I'm not going to have very much green in it, but maybe just on the side or right at the beginning or at the end, I don't know, right in the middle. All see how it goes and i'm also going to add some white because smoke coming out it's gonna you're gonna or fire coming out you're gonna have smoke so that's what we're gonna do and so i'll get this going and get my paints mixed and so i can get it going because after i do this i've got a piece over here that i got a resin so and uh, i've been off for i think this is my fifth day off in a row i actually only worked one day last week because monday was a holiday for um, a recognized hall. It was for the fourth, but our facility that I, the place I work at closed on the fifth, uh, for people that work, don't work the weekends. They can have a day off for the, uh, recognizing the fourth. So I had Monday off work Tuesday and was off the rest of the week. So I've been off, I've been having it pretty easy this week. And so 
I got to go back and work in the morning, so I only have about, I don't know, it's all, it's not quite 10 o'clock. I try to go to bed around 10, 30 or 11, so I got to get this done. So this is my second intro. I didn't mean it for it to be this long, but what are you going to do? All right, I got the paints mixed, and uh, so I'm ready to go, but I'm going to level this off first. <clears throat> As you know. You want to make sure your canvas is level or you're going to have a paint slide is like I like to call it because it's happened to me. I've lost a couple of beauties in my day. One most recently was uh, the dragon one. Uh, I was devastated by that one. <clears throat> so we're going to get started here. I'm trying to clean up my room a little bit. Got trash everywhere. So, now, I thought the blue was a little light, so, along with the ultramarine, I added just a little bit of phthalo blue in it, because it's a little bit darker blue, and I kind of wanted to, you know, darken it up a little bit, so I think that's a pretty good blue right there. I think that's going to help match that blue on that car. It's a good thing we live in a world that has many shades of different of different colors. It's not just one one shade and that's it cuz sometimes these colors are a little dull. I like a rich color. And a phthalo blue really is a rich color. So I'm glad I was able to add that to that. So while I'm painting, an interesting story, well, for me anyway, I don't know if you'll find it too interesting, but uh, if you've followed me or know me or personally in real life, you know I grew up in Kansas. If you've been listening to some of my videos, I probably talk about Kansas every now and then. I was born in Green in uh, Indiana, and I grew up in Kansas. Moved out there when I was my family moved out there when I was four. So we used to come out to Indiana all the time to visit, and I didn't move back until the late 90s, 96, something like that. And uh, I was the last one in my, my folks had already moved back out here. My sister had already moved back out here. So I was the last one to move back out here. And uh, But anyway, I was at, uh, I did a show yesterday, like I was saying, at, uh, in Anderson. So I'm talking to this guy, him and his son were in my booth. We were chatting and I, I can't remember why I brought it up, but I said, yeah, I grew up in Kansas. And he's like, oh, I'm from, I lived in Kansas. Where at? So I was like, yeah, it's out in the middle of nowhere. South Central Kansas, nobody's ever heard of it, or most people haven't heard of it, and uh, the name of the town is Haviland, Kansas, oh yeah, and I'm thinking, oh yeah, right, you'd know where Haviland, Kansas is, it's a town of about 500 people, I was like, yeah, you know, it's right there, basically between Wichita and Dodge City, pretty much, on Highway 54. Yeah, yeah, I know where it's at. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah. I said, do you know where Greensburg is at? Greensburg, Kansas, the town that got hit by the tornado back in, I think it was 2007. I said, it's 10 miles from there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've been to Havlin a few times. Like, you're, you're kidding me. And uh, so it's kind of weird meeting somebody that has been to this little bitty town that I grew up in. And Unfortunately, I was 
I had a lot of people in my booth, so he, I wasn't able to really talk to him because I was talking to other people at the same time. And so, uh, he, him and his son, he had a, a fairly young son. He, he kind of took off. So I was really disappointed because I wanted to talk to him some more, but so it's kind of weird meeting somebody because I would have, you know, said, well, what, I wanted to know why, why he was there, who he knew, because I know a lot of people there and, uh, see if we knew some of the same people. So just kind of weird. I'm going to spread this out because he wanted it to pop. So we got to have a lot of color. I'm not going to go slightly. Put some orange in here and some white. I'm going to wait to add the green. As you know, on a Dutch pour, you always put a little bit more of the background paint around it. So you can blow it up on it and then blow it out. Don't worry, we're gonna fix this. It's not what it's gonna be. All right, gonna get the trusty straw, my good old straw. shirt in this paint. Fortunately, I'm wearing a blue shirt. I can take that off and soak it and it'll come out. I usually don't get down that close on it. Of 
course, it left a little white, a little canvas showing. Excuse me while I tuck my shirt in so it doesn't lean over. Okay, we're gonna add some green in there. I think I'm gonna start it about right here. And right here. Alright, so we got that car like that. And I'm trying to see if I need to add anything to it. A little bit more yellow over here. I lost it somehow.
I'm just making some flame type looks to it to really get it going. Add it into the green as well, just to highlight the green that's flaming. And yes, I know green is not in flames. I realize that, but See what we got. We can get it right there. I think that would be a good one. Let's give it a good torch blow. I will definitely take a picture of this when it dries. I'll set the car on it. I'll take a picture of it and I will send it to the Thomas and see what he thinks of it. If he does not like it, um, I will repaint it. But I do think he'll probably like it. It does pop quite a bit. I want, Since he wanted it to pop, I wanted to have a lot more colors in there. Uh, so I wanted to go wider on the flame. And uh, since, uh, as you can see, the colors on the on the car are just in stripes like that. So that's why I wanted to kind of do the green in stripes and the yellow kind of is and the orange is and the blue is the background and the orange is on the side. So I think it's a pretty good match on it. And uh, so all we got to do is wait for it to dry, set it on, set the car on there, take a picture of it send it to him if it's approved we will resin this bad boy and get it to him kind of. all right this has dried i've got the back taped i'm using pro marine resin this is a 10 by 20 canvas i've got the resin mixed as you can tell it's real bubbly uh, so it'll be blowing a lot of bubbles out 
I mixed it for about three minutes. It's three and a half ounces of hardener and three and a half ounces of epoxy resin for seven ounces total for a 10 by 20 canvas. And it's getting warm here in the studio with all the lights. And I did a, I just finished a 24 by 24 Dutch pour. So I was using the, the hair dryer on, and I have it on, you know, hot. So it's getting hot in here. It is today was a, a lot warmer day than has been here in Indiana. But I do have the AC on and but it just doesn't reach this room very well. But I have five, five different lights on, plus the overhead light. Oh, and the closet light, just to give me more light. So it is getting warm in here. And after I get this one, I'm gonna start another piece because I had a lot of paint left over and I don't wanna waste it. So I'm gonna do another Hot Wheels themed one. As soon as I get done with this one. This, of course, is the commission piece. I contacted the client and I took a picture of it with the car on it before, right after it dried long enough for me to set the car on it and take a picture of it and he loved it well, I think he said he really really liked it I don't think he used the word love but uh, he doesn't have to use the word love but and he did confirm that it is for his buddy and he said the buddy would love it So that is the main thing, that at least they like it or, and really like it is even better. Whew. My hand was sweating in that glove. So with using this torch, it's going to get even hotter in here, and I still have to make another painting, so I might have to go cool off for a little bit, because, you know, our, I, I thought about having somebody come out and look at our duct work, make sure that it's, doesn't have a, doesn't have a, disconnect somewhere because this room really gets hot and I we have other parts of the house that are just always a lot cooler with the AC on and a lot warmer in the summer in the winter time so We did have our ducts cleaned out, but they just run like a, kind of like an auger thing through it and a suction. So, but I definitely need to do something because it's, it's really getting warm in here. Now this one is a very colorful one, especially right in here where I'm torching. Um, I did want it to be 
a lot of different colors in there. Um, but we just went with the colors that are in the car, which is, is the orange, the yellow, green, and then it's got the blue. So, So one thing about commission pieces that I always worry about is whether the client's going to like it. I've been pretty fortunate. I don't think I don't think I've done a commission piece yet that they didn't just really like or love. And I always try to tell them to be honest with me, and I think they usually are. Pretty much, I think they are. Because if it's not right, I don't want to sell them a painting that's not what they wanted. You know, so. I always want to get it right. All right. I know this is the boring part of the video where I'm just torching, torching, and torching, but it is crucial. So if you are uh, watching this to kind of learn about it you definitely want to torch it a lot but not so much the like smolders and stuff like that you can get too close and have have the heat don't don't I always am trying to go in moving moving the torch moving the torch constantly because if you leave it steady in one spot that's when you start burning the resin and you don't want to do that I've done that before so it's just important to really torch 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 to get all these bubbles out I'm I'm probably a little more going on about it than maybe some others do but now what I like about the way this dried, this dark blue in here, it actually has some white. It almost looks like a cloud. So normally I would put it here, but I think I'm gonna set it back a little bit. So it's like it's coming out of the tires as well. So we're gonna go about right there. And there you have it. My first NASCAR one, Jeff Gordon, number 24 in the DuPont car. I don't know how long he's been. I don't even know if he's still racing. I don't think he is. I think he's retired, but I don't know because I don't follow racing. I honestly don't. I have heard of him. probably have heard of a lot of these erasers but I just don't follow it so I think the ones I've heard of are like some of the older ones like Kyle Kyle Petty and um, Dale Earnhardt and Dale, Ear Dale Earnhardt Jr. Excuse me. And then I've heard of like, you know, the, oh, I don't know all of them. I'm not gonna 
name them all that I know. Because there are probably some people out there like, oh, you like, you know him or like him? And I'm like, no, I don't like any of them. I'm not a fan of any of them. I am just, I just know who they are or have heard their name. So here, there you have it. So this is the piece that uh, will go to the client. Um, I'll let it cure for a few days and then get it wrapped up and shipped out to him. We've agreed on a price and now all that's left is for him to, to send me the payment and me to get his address so I can ship it to him and we'll have a, a good piece here. So as always, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more of my stuff and get notified, subscribe, help my channel grow. Um, I had a comment left on my last video. Somebody said, I, I, I'm going to guess that you're just getting started because I can't believe you don't have more followers or subscribe subscribers. And I am just getting started on my YouTube channel. So, you know, help a poor artist out and hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.